Hi, I'm Kenneth Cruz. I'm in the ninth grade, and I'm the student of the month for February. Hi, I'm Lexi Anger, and I was chosen to be a student of the month for the month of February. All right, my name is Nana Barwa. I'm in 11th grade, and I was chosen for February's 11th grade student of the month. Hi, my name is Avery Flynn. I'm in 12th grade, and I was the February student of the month. All right, my name is David Reed. I am a senior, and I was chosen as the 12th grade Elk student of the month for February. So my favorite subjects in school are um, uh, math and Spanish. I like Spanish because it's I speak two languages. It's similar to Tagalog, so it's really easy for me. And I also like math because I like numbers. My favorite subjects at school are definitely any agricultural-based class. I love learning about plants and animals and anything ag-related. My favorite subjects are APUSH. I like APUSH because I like history and remembering things and the tests are kind of fun. And my other favorite subject is math. I love math. I do math. I literally do math in my free time. So like a AP Calc, one of my favorite classes, and Mr. Newman knows that. And then I also kind of like AP Physics. So yeah, because like it's challenging and I like a good challenge, even though like it makes me tired, but I still like the class. My favorite subjects are AP Government and AP Psychology, just because you learn a lot about human behavior and how humans think and it's just very insightful on like our generation and what we're going through currently. My favorite subjects in school are math and science. I love math because seeing able like seeing what numbers are able to do is really cool to me and I love science because of all the real world applications that it has. So I have um, a bunch of hobbies. I usually play with cards, build um, this tech um, kits called Gundams which are basically robots, model kits, and I also play volleyball, uh, yeah. I am the secretary for our FFA chapter at Northern Burlington, so I'm heavily involved in that. My favorite activity inside school is definitely on track. I do throwing, discus, and shot put. I don't really like shot put, but I'm forced to, so I just do it. But I also like sprinting. Um, outside of school, I like to usually volunteer. I advocate for a lot of like, you know, resources for low income students and um, African, like, you know, I'm really involved in my culture. I'm Ghanaian, so I do a lot of advocacy work for um, children in Africa and stuff. Like right now, I have a fundraiser and I'm like trying to raise funds for open heart surgery for a child in Africa. So that's something I'm really passionate about. So in school, um, I've been the president of my class for the past four years and also Blue and Gray Spirit Captain. And outside of school, I have a part-time job. Some of my favorite activities are things with JROTC, like Drill Team and Color Guard. And outside of school, I'm a Boy Scout and I also love doing some astrophotography. I think my plans are either going to NASA, working as um, someone as like an, uh, someone in the field of astronomy or in the medical field. Because um, my parents, uh, I've wanted to. I've always wanted to do something that would like benefit them after I leave um, high school, and I think uh, doing that would um, help them the most because all of their sacrifices will be worth it in the end. I plan on going to college for veterinary medicine um, because I am very passionate about animals and taking care of them. As of right now, I'm not really sure, but I do know I want to go into some type of economics or international affairs because, like I said before, I like to, you know, help in other countries and provide resources to like low income type of um, situations. So I do believe that I would like to go into economics and maybe like, you know, minor in math because I like math so much. But as of right now, I don't really know. So I'm not really sure what I want to do after high school, but as of right now, I think I might want to go into law and I just want to help people and hopefully make a difference. After high school, I plan on doing senior level ROTC at Ember Riddle Aeronautical University. And that appeals to me because I want to be a pilot in the Air Force. Definitely my parents and my friends, because because they usually help me get through my life. They're always there when I need support. And even through my struggles, or even when I'm really uh, just uh, not having, um, like having a good time, they're still there for me. My biggest influences in my life right now are my advisors, um, especially with FFA, and um, select teachers who are just constantly motivating me to do better. My main influence is definitely my parents, because you know, throughout um, my high school experience, they've guided me and helped me and got me the resources to succeed in school. 
along with all my teachers because I'm that person that's always, you know, talking to my teachers, staying after school for office hours, and they've helped me so much this year, especially due to COVID, making it hard to, you know, stay focused and get work done. So yeah, my teachers definitely motivate me. And lastly, um, the organizations I work with, like I work with the CEO at Hospitals for Humanity, and he's really helped me get the opportunities, like the fundraiser and helping people outside of my community. So yeah. My biggest influence in my life is definitely my grandfather, just because he's always been there for me and he's someone I can rely on and I can confide in. Some of the influences in my life are all the JROTC instructors, as well as my parents. I would like to thank my parents and my friends mostly because and also my teachers because they, um, even though it's been difficult because of COVID uh, it's been still uh, doing I'm still, I'm still doing really well uh, and um, they're still there for me I'm, I can rely on them when I need help and yeah I, I trust them. Definitely just all the teachers being understanding. Um, they're very helpful with just getting you through anything you need to, and they're very they're very helpful with everything. I really want to thank my mom and my dad. Like they're like really the foundation. Like that's um, helped me succeed and get to where I am today. I would also like to say thank you to. Mr. Newman, of course, because he nominated me, <laughs> and um, all my other teachers, Mr. Blackburn, Mr. Craig, um, Mr. Rudis, Ms. Rapazzi, all of my teachers just for like, you know, helping me, um, being there with me, sticking through everything with me, so yeah. I would definitely like to thank my teachers and my parents and my friends for always being there and being someone I can talk to. I would definitely like to thank my parents along the way. They've been teaching me like ever since I was a little kid. I just want to say life is going to be hard and difficult, but you just need to push through it. Uh, life is going to be strange, uh, so there's going to be different changes in our lives, but you just have to adapt and grow through it. It's because um, I came here two years ago and it was a big change and I still got man and I managed and I did well. So life is hard, but you have to keep pushing. I would like to thank uh, the teachers who nominated me to be a student of the month. And I would just like to thank everybody who has helped me get to where I am today. I just hope everybody gets through this okay and that we're going to all make it through. And I hope that everybody's safe.